Hey gang, Ronan here. I've had a lot of people ask about uh, Aslane's mod pack. I used to use the mod station. They didn't update it as quickly as Aslane, so I switched back to Aslane, which I used a long time ago. Uh, I'm just going to go through them really quick. I use the team panels by Battle Best. I really like the custom ability. You can get a lot of information, and I, you know, where it's all green there, I have just little green lines. You can adjust all of that. I, I find it really, really helpful. Clan icons. You'll see the clan icons if their clan has them. Submitted to Aslane's adjustable markers uh, to be able to give you a little bit more information uh, when you're looking at the ships in the game. Ship moving indicator tells me whether a ship is in reverse, stopped, or moving ahead. It's really, really handy for landing your shots. Smoke marker, obviously, on the mini map and also on your main uh, screen when you're in the game. You can really see where the smoke is laid out and they help you blind fire a little bit better. Uh, advanced depth charge marker. I don't play subs much, but in anticipation of that, I'm using that and the numerical remaining battery on subs so that uh, I can keep track of those things a little bit better. Advanced torpedo marker, really helpful. It takes a little while to, you know, kind of have it register in your brain in, in, the, in a hurry. Uh, one ping, you'll see wavy lines. Uh, two pings, you'll see wavy lines with an M on top of it, right? Threshold of homing. If torpedoes actively guided into your target, the focus marker will be displayed when it crosses the threshold of homing to be a dumb fire. That icon disappears. That's that M there. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, mini map by AutoSpy. Really, really like it. You can customize the colors of the circles. You can make them dots or dashes or solid lines. I use red for my main guns. Uh, solid red line and, and dashes red for secondaries. Blue is for torpedoes, light blue, blue for radar. You can customize it to whatever you want. It's really, really nice. Advanced attention marker. Uh, if you ping the map, someone using this mod will see it on their screen. Makes targeting a lot easier. Submarine pingers, same thing. Improved chat. You've got auto spy and you've got this the one that I like to use, which I just like the format of it, the information, the ship, as well as the player and what they're saying. Both are good. There's just one that I've been using for a really long time, so makes it easier for me to know who is saying what. Battle expert, super important. You can see that it identifies the relative angle of the red ship you've targeted to you and you to them. That's the numerical values there, 14 degrees and 2 degrees respectively. Also tells you where your turrets are in terms of rotation and such, and which ones are active. I don't hide the original compass, which is in the bottom left of your screen when you're in game. Some people will, some people don't need it. I happen to like it. 3D radio position finding, it shows up on your main screen, in addition to just being a little semicircle that you see there. Intuitions will tell you if more than one person has your radio located, you can see that. Advanced battle loading screen. I really like all the information at the beginning of the match. I can see what my biggest threats are and kind of take a look at where the map is, uh, where I'm at on the map and start making some plans. Quick commands, the compact version I'm sure you're familiar with. Numerical HP on squadrons tells me, uh, you know, how much damage I'm doing to aircraft, which I like. Score timer. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory there. You can see how many minutes or seconds it'll take for you to win the game where you depending upon how many caps you have etc shot timer once you've fired it tells you how long it's going to be before you go dark again pretty handy you just stay angled till that thing goes to zero radar if somebody pops radar it'll tell you exactly how long you've been in it you'll have some idea of when to expect it to just shut down also really handy reload timer i really like this Tells you exactly how many seconds until your weapon system of choice is reloaded. Gives you the reload time. Smoke indicator. This will tell you how long the puff of smoke you're in is going to remain and then the length of time of the longest puff of smoke. So maybe you reversed from the last puff into another one and that's why it's showing 30. Radio location. Um, I like the little, the one on the right, which is why I use that shows me kind of the center of the radio location area. doesn't mean the ship is there, but it does show me that. Compass elements, I like how this looks. There's another one here with a couple of colors. I'm not too crazy about that. 
I use the Nomogram, Nomogram uh, Classic Dynamic Crosshair. If you're not using a dy dynamic crosshair, take a look at our videos here. Y you really should be. It'll help you so much once you get the hang of it to land your shots. Blur Effects Remover Port Zoom Out allows you to zoom way out in the port. Instantaneous teleportation. It removes the delay when you're moving between points on the map. Uh, returning to your CV, re returning to your ship after watching your shells. If you try it out, I think you'll really like it. I use the Zeiss Expert uh, times 15 Some of the others I'm not as crazy about. Uh, I like the version checker in the game because if, if it tells me I'm in the, the different, a different version is available, I can click it and it opens up my browser and I can download it immediately. Uh, server population, resources, karma information, all of that's available at the top of your port screen. Ship carousel. I like to look at the win rate and battles played. I can toggle with the left alt key. Uh, I can work on ships I played, you know, rushing through eight years ago and, and improve the win percentage, for example. There are a lot of different things here that I don't use. I won't go into those, but I really recommend that you check them out. I wanted to give you kind of a brief overview of what I use. I do uh, use fog remover, anti-glare, and uh, minimal waves. I really like the look of that. I hope this answers some of your questions. Uh, if you haven't given Aslane's WoWs mod pack a try, you can get it on the uh, World of Warships Discord. A couple of the things that I use there. I really appreciate you spending a couple minutes with me. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you did, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Maybe tell a friend, and I'll see you next time.